you know you know you know as i was preparing this message um something just came like you know as a backup of this weed that i'm about to give you right now and by the way you're watching me for the first time i'm ishmael and and i welcome you to today's video that you escaped this twice okay even more than twice you must realize something uh i was reminded you know there's this other celebrity that she was sharing a story on how many times she tried to commit suicide and then some, somehow she kept surviving she woke up after three days in the hospital bed and all these things and then there came a time which was like oh you know what let me stop tempting god let me stop taking god for granted the one time god will it will end up working when i try to commit suicide but there are those that at one instance they commit and they die instantly and listen there is no mistake about it. Do not try to take it for granted. I have seen people who would survive different things and find that to this very day they're still alive. And you see that it is the grace of God. It is because God wants to do something great. And the Lord wants to talk to someone right now. You've been going through things and you realize that you've been surviving, surviving. And the Lord says, do not take his grace for granted. The reason you survived is it is enough for you to see that God loves you. There are many people who have had, you find that they've had multiple car accidents, but they're still alive. But someone just one time and they are gone. Listen, don't take it for granted. It is time that you see that God, your maker, has something great about you. And this message coming as a reminder that remember where he took you from. Remember how he's been saving you. He's not saving you just to be miserable in this world. It is time that now you heed to what he's saying. Instead of complaining, saying, nah, nah. It's time you come, you look up, hear him clearly, and do exactly as he instructs you. And you will see why you've been surviving. And that is a testimony on its own. And I further pray for you as this word resonates with you. Please act upon it. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you right now. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. See you next time.